And you're back with a late edition here on SABC News Channel. Learners from Gauteng Schools of Specializations gathered for the second annual SOS Festival at John Orr Engineering School of Specializations on Saturday. The festival brought together learners to showcase innovation and creativity in various fields, including dancing, engineering, crafts, technology, sports and media. Speaking at the exhibition, the Gauteng Education and Youth Development MEC Matome Chilwane said he was impressed by the skills and talent displayed by the learners. The Gauteng Education Department spokesperson, Steve Mabona, joins us now to talk more about it. A very good evening to you, Mr. Mabona, and thank you so much for speaking to us. The origins of this festival, as we mentioned, it's in its second year, and we gave a list of the kind of things that it showcases. But just give us uh, the concept behind it. What was uh, being sought to be achieved? Good evening. Uh, look, um, it's more about um, you know showcasing what learners are going through. You know, in the uh, school of specialization, like as we have already indicated, we have launched now 35 of the school of specialization in Houting. We have the last one to launch, which is in the Tswani area, and uh, we will be having uh, 36. It's more about imparting knowledge, nurturing skills, you know, at the basic education level, making sure that learners are, you know, they are skilled, um, you know, from our, you know, environment, they can go straight to the corporate world uh, because they would have amassed, you know, the knowledge that uh, can assist them. So the intents and purpose is for them to showcase, compete, and make sure that they, you know, nurture the, the, the talent that they, they would have amassed at their schools. And as you say that what you want to focus on is technical skills as well as soft skills. But when we talk about unique skills in a context where South Africa has been saying it wants to drive industrialization, but there are certain skills that are lacking within the economy itself and some of these institutions, what would we consider as a brilliant learner in these cases? No, look, we are very strict on the entry of the, you know, the requirement at the schools. You know, they go through the aptitude tests and they, they are compelled to do pure maths because that's what we are looking at. We are looking at learners that will excel. As you, you look at the performance of, our, of those schools, most of them they will give you over 90%, uh, 100%, you know, 98, 99%. So that's what we are looking at to make sure that um, they will give you the performance that is outstanding because they are well supported. We are recruiting partners that uh, will join the schools and take this talent and then and put it in the, in the corporate world. That's what we are, we are aiming to do. Give us practical examples, some of the partnerships that have already been entered into the Sochangove Automotive School, for instance. What are some of the creations that, come, that have come out of that? Uh, what are you hoping to achieve with this particular program to encourage other learners, not only in that school, but throughout the country so that they can see that these are the partnerships that have come out of this and are going to come out of this. This is what you can aspire towards yourself. No, we can really say that the corporate world is um, acting positively uh, to an extent that, uh, you know, in social movie we have BMW that is partnering with us. Uh, we, they gave the learners a, you know, an extra, uh, which, they can, um, you know, dissect and check on how it works uh, because they've assembled, you know, a BMW as their first, you know, concept. And they, you know, pro you know they gave us a locomotive, which is solar propelled and, and that competed internationally. So now those learners, they gave us a vehicle which is um, an electric vehicle that can move around and there uh, you can charge it and the john also you know provided us with a, a motorbike uh, they gave us a, a system that can assist in the agricultural sector and the rosefield they also gave us the 
water saving process which you can use utilize the, what is uh, underground the tankers are under you know you know underground and you can utilize that so it's skills that you really need that are community and problem solving skills which uh, you need and uh, we're quite excited that uh, we have partners that you know came on board which are assisting the schools mm. When you talk about a wider scale of problem solving, so for instance, in, in the school in Sashanguva, you spoke about some of the creations, uh, the uh, electric car, for instance, powered by lithium iron phosphate batteries. Um, that would need to be reflected in the infrastructure that we then, as a country, whether provincially or wherever those would operate, would then be providing for the charging of those uh, vehicles. As it is, we've been talking about how e-cars in South Africa, even though the, some of them are being produced here, with the power crisis that we're experiencing, it's not something that is viable for communities here. No, the, the, the learners are giving you solutions. Because when you look at the John O learners, what they produce, it's, it's solar propelled um, you know you then charge it and it, it will last for a certain period and you will then you know, you know bring it back to, to to charge it so it's solutions that are assisting the country in a way i mean look at the locomotive that the learners produced as well uh, learners from Tebuana, you know produced an ambulance which is electric, uh, you know, propelled as well. There's a, there's a dependency on solar um, that you can utilize there. So the learners are giving you alternative mechanism of energy as a solution. So that's what you look at. And this companies, you know, come like for instance, Sasol invited the social movie to bring their car to compete. So you look at that level and say, what is it that these learners can you know, provide you with as a solution to problems that we are facing as a country? No, and it's not just solutions. We also spoke about the development of soft skills when it comes to uh, commerce and entrepreneurship. What support are they getting? And what are you also doing to drive the fact that not everybody is going to go into the same sector, whether you're talking maritime or aviation that there are still respectable careers and there are industries that have room to grow no definitely i mean to, to a certain extent i mean on saturday the school that won the competition is osrand osrand their their focus is, is tourism so you can understand that the you know expansion of that sector and the innovation that came with you know on saturday it gives you an indication that it's not only the automotive engineering and all these other you know disciplines that uh, you need to you know you know improve but also the tourism management uh, as well you know there's a, a major role where you look at how do you grow food, uh, food you know the agro processing how do you plant you know the learners can you know give us the, the the mechanism on how you can do that without even having a huge uh, hectares of places where you can then you don't have to, to plant you can do that um, with utilizing a very small space but to a certain extent that you will have um, a lot of food that you, you can produce. So those are the things that you are looking at. Thank you so much for speaking to us, education spokesperson in Gauteng, Steve Mabona.